everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about farm in, uh, uh, farming in uh, Palampur. Okay. So first one is land is fixed. Farming in Palampur. First one is land is fixed. Farming is the main production activity in Palampur. Uh, the main production activity in Palampur uh, that is uh, farming. Farming is the main production activity in Palampur. Okay. 75% of the people who are working are dependent on uh, farming for uh, farming for their livelihood and there are 75% of uh, people who are uh, who are working are uh, dependent on uh, farming for their for their what livelihood okay for their livelihood they could uh, they could be farmers or for laborers okay they could be uh, they could be farmers or uh, what laborers okay the well being of these people is closely related uh, closely related to production of the farm production on the farm sorry production of the farm uh, the well being of these people is uh, closely related to the production on the farm it means uh, uh, those people may if uh, it is farmer farmers or you can also say farm labors uh, is uh, relate uh, is closely related to pro, uh, production uh, production on uh, the farms okay on the farm but remember but remember that this is a basic country uh, consistent in uh, rising farm production but do you remember there is a basic constraint in uh, rising farm production okay basic construction uh, construct uh, sorry basic construction and basic uh, uh, sorry basic constraint in uh, rising farm production land area under cultivation is particularly fixed and the land area land area under uh, under what under cultivation is uh, is fixed in Palampur. Okay, okay. Since uh, 1960 in Palampur, since 1960 in Palampur, there has been no expansion in the land area under in land area under cultivation under cultivation. Okay. Uh, there has been no expansion in land area under cultivation in uh, since in uh, 1960 in where Palampur okay there is a uh, there uh, there has a, there has been no expansion in uh, land area uh, uh, in a uh, land area under cultivation since uh, 1960 since 1960 Palampur okay cultivation by them by then by then some of the wastelands wastelands in the village had been converted to converted to cultiva uh, cultivable land and uh, by then some uh, some of uh, wasteland are uh, converted into what Culti uh, culti cultivable land okay uh, Wasteland that is present in a village of Palapur. Uh, it had uh, in uh, it had con uh, the wasteland is uh, had to been converted into into cultivable land, okay? And uh, cultivable land there exists uh, no uh, exist no further scope in uh, increased farming production by bringing new land and new new land under cultivation and uh, there exists no further scope to increase farm production and to uh, by bringing new land under cultivation okay there is uh, there, uh, there, uh, there is no further scope to increase farming farming production by uh, by new land with the help of new land okay there is no expansion there is no further scope scope to increase farming this one is think it is not important. Now and uh, next one is 
and the second is is there a way one can grow more from the same land here is the question this one is question okay is there a way one can grow more from the same land let us read about this in the kind of uh, in the kind of crops grown uh, grown and uh, facilities available in uh, the kind of crop uh, of uh, crop grown uh, grown uh, grown and uh, facilities are available in, uh, in the village palampur would be resembled a village of uh, of the western part of the state of uh, uttar pradesh and uh, palampur would resemble a village of the western part of the of the state Uttar Pradesh. Okay, and okay, all land is cultivated in Palampur. Uh, in Palampur, all land is uh, involved in uh, cultivation. Okay, no land is left idle. No, uh, there is no any land to left is uh, left idle. Okay, all land is uh, cultivated in Palampur. Okay. During the during the rainy season, farmers grow jowar and bajra. In the in the rainy season, farmers grow what jowar, jowar and what bajra. Okay. Uh, these plants are used as uh, cattle feed. Uh, this plant it means uh, jowar and uh, jowar and uh, Bajra is used for uh, cattle feed. Okay. And now it is followed by it is followed by cultivation of uh, potato between October and December. Between the month of October and December, farmers grow uh, farmers cultivate uh, what potato. Okay. Cultivation of potato between the October and December. In the in the winter season, in the winter season, fields are snow. So, uh, fields are uh, sown with. Uh, in winter seasons, uh, winter season fields are uh, sown with uh, wheat. Okay, in winter season and. Uh, and uh, the month of uh, October between uh, December, between October and December, uh, farmers cultivate uh, what potato. And uh, in the uh, rainy season, farmers uh, grow what jowar and bajra. And it is uh, used for uh, and uh, this uh, and uh, these are uh, these plants are used for cattle feed. Okay. Yields are uh, shown with weeds from the from the wheat produ uh, produced farmers keep enough wheat for the families uh, consumption uh, and uh, sell the, the sur sur uh, surplus wheat at the market at the uh, Raiganj and uh, farmer keep enough wheat to the families and uh, consumption and uh, sell the slippers wheat to at the market at uh, in the uh, at uh, Raiganj. Raiganj, we know that Raiganj is a big village. Big village. Raiganj is the name of big village. Okay. Uh, it is connected with uh, what Palampur village. A part of a part of the land area is also devoted to, to sugar cans which are uh, which is harvested once every year and uh, a part of land area is also devoted sugar can sugar can which is harvested one once every year okay that is sugar can sugar can sugar can uh, in its raw form or uh, 
or as a jaggery. Jaggery is sold to the traders in Saapur. Uh, and uh, Saapur is the name of a uh, small town uh, which is uh, that is uh, nearest nearby the Palampur village. Okay. And uh, sugar uh, in a uh, sugar can, it is raw form as a jaggery, as a or a jaggery is sold to the trader, traders in Sapur. Okay, it's sold to the traders in okay? Sapur. And uh, the main reason why farmers are able to grow the uh, three different crops in the year in Palampur is due to well, uh, well developed system of irrigation. The main reason why farmers are able to grow three different uh, uh, three different crops in a uh, in a, in a year in a in a year in Palampur is due to is due to the well development uh, well development system of irrigation. It is only due to uh, this type of uh, uh, this type of crops grown in uh, Palampur uh, it is only possible uh, due to uh, it is uh, it is a well developed uh, well developed village and uh, well developed system uh, sorry well developed system of what irrigation are uh, here I wasn't there okay electricity electricity came earlier to palampur electricity came earlier to palampur it uh, its major impact was uh, to transfer the system of irrigation and uh, its major impact was uh, to transfer uh, irrigation uh, to transfer the irrigation system system of irrigation okay and uh, persian wells uh, wells were Irrigation Persian wells were uh, till then used by farmers to draw to draw water from the wells as uh, irrigate a small field. Okay. Uh, Persian uh, wheel uh, wheel in the uh, Persian wells used by farmers to draw the water from uh, uh, from a wells and uh, irrigate a small field. Okay, people saw that the people saw that the uh, electric run tube well tube wells could irrigate much what is uh, irrigate much large area of uh, large more large area of large more effectively people saw that the uh, saw that the elect, uh, electric run tube wells tube wells could irrigate uh, irrigate uh, could irrigate much large area and uh, uh, large area of large more elect, uh, what you can say uh, what is effectively effectively it is uh, uh, what electric tube wells uh, the the first few tube wells the first few tube wells were installed by the government uh, the first few the first few tube wells were installed by the government uh, okay first few tube wells were installed by the uh, the first few tube wells were installed by the what uh, with the help of government okay so however farmers started so however farmers started uh, setting up private tube wells so however farmers started set up a, a private tube well in uh, their home uh, farmers uh, you can say farmers uh, started to, to set up the 
private tutors in uh, their homes and private tutors in their homes. Okay, as a result, by mid 1970s, the entire cultivated uh, uh, area of uh, 2000 hectares was irrigated. And uh, as a result, by mid 1970s, the entire cultivated area of 200 hectares was irrigated. Okay? Yeah. If uh, uh, in uh, by mid of the 70s, the entire cultivated area of uh, area of 200 hectares was irrigated. Irrigated why? Because uh, uh, farmers started uh, set up their own, I can say, private tube wells. Okay. And, uh, to grow more than to grow more than one crops on a piece of land during the uh, year is known as multiple cropping to grow more than one crop on a, on a piece of land during the year is known as what multiple cropping uh, if we grow more than one crop on a on the piece of land during during the year is known as multiple crop, cropping multiple cropping it is the most common way of uh, increasing production on the uh, on a given piece of land it is a uh, it is most common way to it is most common way of uh, increasing production on a on a on a uh, on you can say uh, on a given piece of uh, land okay it is a main it is a common you can say it is a common uh, production okay all farmers in palampur grow uh, at least two main crops all farmers all farmers in palampur uh, grow at least two main crops uh, many are growing uh, potato as the third crop is the past 15 to 20 years. Uh, all farmers in pa uh, sorry, Palampur grow at least two main crops. Okay. Uh, many are growing uh, many are growing potato as the uh, many uh, and uh, many farmers are growing potato. Potato as the third crop in the past 15 to 20 years. Okay. This one is the figure of uh, different different crops. This one is what? Wheat, balsa, sugar cane. This one is the figure of, you know, very well, potato. Okay. This one is a cultivated area over the year. Cultivated area in million hectare. This is a you have seen that one way to increase production. You have seen that one way of increasing production of the same land is by multiple cropping. I here you can see that uh, by multiple cropping. Multi -crop, uh, multiple cropping uh, means uh, yes to uh, uh, to grow more than one crops uh, in the on the on the on a piece of land during the year is known as multiple cropping and uh, here is written that you have seen that uh, one way of uh, increasing increasing production for the same land by multiple cropping you see in our previous page the other way is to use modern farming method and uh, the other uh, and the other way is to uh, to use the modern farming production for high higher yield 
for higher yield. Uh, yield is uh, measured as uh, as a crop produced on given piece of land during a single season. Uh, yield is a measure uh, measure as a, um, as a, as crop production on a given piece of land. It means during a single season. During a single season, uh, uh, yield is a uh, yield. Uh, produced on a given piece of land uh, they they produce crops uh, during a single season okay and, uh, till the mid till the mid 1960s the seeds used in cultivation were uh, traditional ones with uh, relatively low yields since 1960s, the seeds used in cultivation. This seeds, H Y, uh, this seeds is used in where cultivation, uh, where uh, inter, uh, where traditional ones with uh, relative, uh, relatively low yields. Traditional seeds uh, seeds needed less irrigation. Traditional seed needed less uh, irrigation. It means the traditional seed, uh, the traditional seed needed less irrigation. Uh, farming farmers used cow dung and other natural natural manure as fertilizer. And the farmer used uh, cow dung, uh, cow dung and uh, other manual uh, and other natural manual as fertilizer. They use farmer use okay as a as like a fertilizer. They use cow dung and uh, whatever you can say other other natural manure. All all these were uh, uh, readily available with with the farmers who did not have by them. Uh, all the, these uh, were rapidly available in the farmers who did not uh, have to buy them. Uh, farmers already have uh, this thing. Uh, uh, that they use for uh, fertilizer, they do not. Uh, uh, they do. Uh, they do. Uh, they did not have to buy them. Okay, they already have. The green revolution. The green. The green revolution in the later 1960s introduced the uh, Indian. The green revolution in uh, the later. In the later 1960s, introduced the uh, Indian Indian farmer to cultivate cultivation sorry cultivation of wheat and rice using high yielding varieties HYB seeds uh, HY, HYBS of seeds. Okay, it means uh, the Green Revolution in later 1960s introduced. The, uh, the Indian farmers to to cultivate wheat and rice uh, wheat and rice by using the HYB seeds okay high uh, high yielding varieties of seed okay according to green revolution compared to the traditional seeds the the HYB seeds promise to produce much greater amount of grains on a single plant. HYB seeds promise that uh, traditional seeds um, promise that uh, uh, to produce much greater amount of grains on a single plant. On a single plant there is a, a greater amount of food grains on a single plant promise uh, sorry HYB seeds promised that thing as a result see the result as a result the same piece of land would would now produce far larger quantities of uh, food grains the uh, food grains than was possible earlier as a result the same piece of land would now be produced for uh, for larger quantity of grains than uh, 
then was possible earlier. Okay, it means uh, it means the f- as a uh, as a result, uh, the same piece of land would be uh, would now be produced for large quantity. Okay, large quantity of uh, food grains than was uh, uh, than was possible earlier. It is uh, only possible due to HYB seeds. Okay. HYB seeds, however, need HYB seeds, however, needed uh, plenty of water and also chemical fertilizer and uh, pristi- uh, pre- uh, and pesticides to produce better result. HYB seeds, however, needed plant uh, uh, plenty of uh, fertilizer, uh, plenty of water. Uh, Water and also uh, HYB seeds uh, needed uh, plenty, wa- uh, plenty, of, plenty of water and also chemical fertilizer and pest uh, and uh, what and uh, pest and uh, pesticides, pesticides to produce better best result. Okay. This one is the figure of uh, modern pa- uh, modern farming method. Okay, modern farming method is that farming need HYB seeds, fertilizer, pesticides, irrigation also, and farm masonry. Okay, um, this thing, uh, this all thing. Uh, these all things are collectively known as matha, uh, modern farm, modern farming method. Okay. Filling of blanks. Need to fill in the blanks. And now, higher yield, higher yields were possible only for. A uh, combination of HYB seeds irrigation, chemical fertilizer, and pesticide uh, pist- uh, etc. Uh, HYB seeds were possible only for a uh, only for a combination of uh, sorry high higher yield higher yield were possible only higher yield were uh, possible for. Uh, uh, possible only for a uh, combination of HYB seeds, fertilizer, and uh, pest, uh, irrigation, pesti- uh, and uh, last one, pesticides and etc. Farmers of Punjab, Haryana, and uh, uh, Western Uttar Pradesh were the first to try out the modern farming method in India. In India, farmers of uh, farmers of Punjab, Haryana, and uh, Western Uttar Pradesh were the uh, were the first who uh, first state that uh, try uh, first try the method the modern method of uh, modern modern farming in, in India. Okay, the farmers the farmers in uh, this region set up tubes for the farmers in uh, this region. Set up uh, tubes for irrigation first, tubes for irrigation, and they made use of HYB seeds and you uh, uh, and the use of HYB seeds, okay, and also chemical fertilizers and pesticides in farming. They use this all thing in farming, okay. Some of the some of some of them, some of them uh, bought farming machine, 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 machine like uh, tractors and uh, three, uh, three, which uh, made, uh, uh, which uh, which made following and uh, sorry, following and uh, harvested, harvesting faster. Okay. Uh, some of them uh, bought uh, farmer machineries like tractor and uh, thresers, which uh, made uh, which made pl- plowing uh, in a uh, in a uh, harvest faster. 
through pasta harvest they use this type of farm machinery okay they were rewarded to, uh, with high yield of uh, wheat they were uh, rewarded with uh, high yields of wheat in palampur the yield of wheat grown from the traditional varieties was 1300 kg per hectare per hectare hectare in uh, palampur the high yield of wheat uh grown uh, grown from the traditional uh, varieties of uh, traditional uh, varieties was 1300 kg per hectare okay in uh, palampur the uh, the years of wheat grown from uh, grown from the traditional varieties was uh, 1300 kg per hectare okay Something for one thousand three hundred per hectare with uh, HYB seeds. The yield went up to three thousand two hundred per hectare, and uh, with HYB seeds, the high yield sorry the yield went up to three thousand two hundred uh, kg per hectare hectare. Okay. This was a large in, in, increase in the production of uh, wheat. uh there was a there was a large uh, increase in uh, the production of wheat this was the uh, large production of wheat increasing the large production of wheat and uh, farmers now had a greater amounts of uh, uh surplus wheat to and uh, now the farmers had the greater amount of uh, surplus to sell the markets to sell the markets okay to sell in the market okay and now will the land uh, will the will the land will the land sustain this is the third part of this farming uh, farming in palampur okay and uh, i hope you understand uh, what is the uh, fix uh, land is fish and uh, is there a way one can grow more than uh, more from the uh, same land Okay, I hope you understand the two point two of uh, farming in Palampur. Okay, I hope you understand all the video. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.